we've done this before. I'm going to joint these boards and I'm going to use my joiner to do that. Um, the boards are, for the most part, rough cut. And this side is flat, so what I need to do is make this side perpendicular. And the way I figured that out is I, I took a square and I put it on both sides. And I can see that this side is actually cut at an angle, whereas this side is for the most part straight or perpendicular to this side of the board. So I'm going to machine this side and then once I'm done I'll lay this flat on the table saw and I'll cut this side perpendicular to this side, bring it back for one more pass across the joiner to sweeten up the edge and that'll take care of machining this board. Now I will run it through the planer after I cut it to width about 12 inches and I'm going to do that just to knock out any rough spots that are on this board. And I'll do that for all four. You may have heard the cutter cutting at times and then not cutting and that's because that side of the board although for the most part it is flat it still waves a little bit like this and I'm only cutting off 1 64th of an inch at this point I'll keep doing that pass keeping this side tight up against the fence keep doing that until I hear one continuous cut all the way across then I know that that side is sweet and perpendicular to this. I'm going to turn this off while I work. I have a flat surface on the face, this side, and I have a flat perpendicular cut on this side. So what I'm going to do now is put this side up against the fence and the flat surface down. I'm going to rip these all the way down and that'll give me a parallel to this side cut over here and then I'll take it back to the joiner and I'll run it across the joiner at 1 32nds of an inch just to sweeten it up a little bit. When I'm done with that I'll then run this surface through the joiner to clean it up a little bit and then that'll be pretty much all of the milling. I can glue the pieces together for the tabletop and I'm not too worried about the length at this point I'll come back later with a circular saw and rip it to length. And that's it. I don't know if you could see, my table saw was actually walking a little bit. And that's one of the problems of having a uh, small workshop. I have to have the table saw on a cart so that I can move it. But the problem is, is that periodically, like this, it'll start walking a little bit. And what that did was that put a wave in that cut. So instead of running it through the joiner once, I may have to run it through three times in order to take care of that little walk because when I join, when I glue the planks together I want that edge to be perfect so that it butts right up against the other edge 
And when I do that, I'll glue it together with biscuits and we'll see that here in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these, turn the camera off first. <laughs> 